Welcome to a little bit of fun in the lab, networking with fish, playing a little bit more with Stealth Watch. And I've never played with it before, so I just uh, spun up the VM. So I have the Stealth Watch Management Console and the Stealth Watch Flow Collector. I've been very interested in getting my hands on Stealth Watch some more, specifically because I want to play with ETA, and that is the Encrypted Traffic Analysis. Uh, thing at Cisco. <laughs> Actually, it's really kind of cool. I want to play with it some more. And so it does require Stealth Watch to actually communicate to the cloud traffic analytics. Uh, but we'll get into that later. As I learn it, I'll pass it on to you. So basically, here I am at the Stealth Watch Management Console, and I'm thinking to myself, crap, I have no idea what the default username and password is. So I go over to Google, and I see right here, sysadmin landcope. And I try that at the command line, and then I also try that at the web browser, which you'll see in a second. And for the web browser, it doesn't work. What was absolutely fantastic was I just randomly decided to pick right here and click right here, not even noticing that it's Catherine's web page. So I come right here for Stealth Watch, see Catherine McNamara, realize that I'm at network network node at her web page. This is a great blog. So basically, although it was 2016, it's still about the initial installation and setup. So what you'll notice is, and also recommendations. So when I go ahead and I put this together, because I'm just doing this in the lab and I'm playing, I'm gonna go ahead and probably go for four gig or eight gig, we'll go ahead and come back. But let's go ahead and jump right down here She's got the environment set up here. So basically what it is, is for where we are right now. So after the VM restarts, you're given a login prompt, the default username and password. So that's gonna be sysadmin landcope. It's also gonna say that you want to change the password maybe if you want, and also an IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and go back again over to here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and type sysadmin and then LAN1COPE. Now, from this perspective, you can change the password. I'm perfectly fine with keeping the password as it is, but I do want to change the management. So, as you see before, what I actually put in here is 172.26.33.27 and also 255.255.255.192. And this is gonna prompt you, it's gonna prompt you for the broadcast address, it's also gonna prompt you for your gateway. Now I've actually already done this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. So there's no changes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and now, since I chose those IP addresses, I'm going to actually go into, <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to move to the web and I'm going to say I want to go to HTTPS 172.26.33.27. A lot of people refer to this as what is called the landing page, the Landcope landing page. So if we actually go back over to her page, you'll find out that for the Landcope landing page, the username and password is actually admin LAN 411 COPE. So we're going to go to admin is going to be LAN 411 COPE and sign in and it's basically then we just do exactly what she says we continue and we go through all of the steps from here really you can go ahead and just follow along with Kate's web page which will step you through everything that you need to do in fact that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and go right through all of this because I like printed out formats. So we're going to continue and we're just going to go ahead and step through. And that's it. Bring your v your uh, your VMs up, follow this web page, get a license, and then come back to me and we'll move on with the next actually using Stealthwatch once I figure out how to. That's all I have today. Have a great day.